Good morning. It is now time for story time with... Oh, I'm all, he, he's kind of grumpy. He just woke up from the bed. And again, by popular demand, me and Aaron are going to do a book on the computer. We found computers have all the books on them anyhow. So this is a Dr. Seuss book. This book's a little different. It's called Sneetches by Dr. Seuss. But this book does not have any words. All it has is pictures on the computer screen I got to look at. So as I look at the pictures on the computer screen, I've got to make the story up by seeing what's going on in the pictures. Aaron, can I do it? No. Let's start Sneetches. Here we go. Uh-oh, hit the wrong button. Here, Sneetches by Dr. Seuss while Aaron drinks his milk. There were two weird-looking guys. He said, how are you today, sir? What do you want to do today? I don't know. I guess we'll just sit here in the snow and look at each other and figure out something to do. Well, they had two children that came along. They had a little boy and a little girl, and they were walking along in the snow. You see them, Aaron? They were walking in the snow. They were walking along in the snow. And as they were walking along in the snow, turn page. I'm running out of ideas. Turn. As they were walking along, oh, they found a ball. They said, let's play ball. So they threw the ball at each other. One ball hit the brother in the head. Oh, oh. And the other one said, kick it again, kick it again, kick it again. And look at it. Mommy and Daddy got sad. Then they had a cookout. They got a fire, put some hot dogs on sticks, and began to cook. Everybody was sad because they didn't get their food. Look at them. We want our food. We didn't get any hot dogs. They were upset. So as they got real upset, turn. Oh, there you go. As they got upset, the other one said, we want hot dogs. We didn't get any hot dogs at all. My brother here is starving to death. He wants something to eat. So guess who came along? Sylvester McMonkey McBean. That's the guy's name on the car. He drove his car and said, I'll come help you out. He had a car that had all kinds of contraptions in it, all kinds of things. And he said, I'm coming to do something. I'm not sure yet because they had turned the page. I'm coming to do something here soon. So he came along and came along and come along, turn, turn, turn the page, computer. They're so slow. Oh, then uh, he said, I got some money. So he said, everybody go inside this big vacuum cleaner, big vacuum cleaner, and I'll give you some money. I'll pay you to go in the vacuum cleaner. That'll work. So they went inside the vacuum cleaner, and it, look, it shot them out. It shot these people yeah. out the other end. They said, ah, <laughs> and blew them back out into the snow. And they, they had to pay to ride the vacuum cleaner, Aaron. Look at that. They had to pay money to get in the vacuum cleaner. Yeah. Who wants to be in the vacuum cleaner? They got shot out into the snow. I, I don't. You don't want to do it? No. They said, do it again, do it again. And they all got shot out in the snow. So here they are, and one guy was pointing to a star on his belly. They all got stars in their belly. So they stood there in the snow and said, look at me. I did so good in the vacuum cleaner. I got spit out in the snow. And one of the guys said, they're all looking up now. What is that? They're looking in the sky. We have no idea what's going to come yet because they haven't turned the page. They're looking in the sky and said, something's coming. Something's coming. What's coming, Aaron? No. Something's coming. And it was a guy, the guy that was driving the car. I forgot his name. Some strange name. Anyhow, uh, the guy in the green hat said, it's me, guys. Just calm down. Just me. It's just calm down. It's no big rush. So calm down. And the guy said, huh? I don't know who this guy is. He's got a green hat. You know who he is, Aaron? I don't know who he is. He said, back in the machine, guys. Here's a new machine. They had to pay money again to ride this big red machine. We have no idea what it's going to do yet. They went inside. The, oh, it had a slide. The red machine had a slide. Yeah. They went inside the red machine. They said, wee! And they slid down the slide. They said, we like this. Do it again. We want to slide again. Aaron likes to slide, don't you? Yeah. They went sliding down. Now they're happy. Look at them. They're marching. Hor, hor, they're happy. They're like troops. They're marching. They got big smiles on their face. If y'all can see the pictures, y'all can see my story is accurate. If you can see the pictures on the screen. Then the guy in the green hat said, Wait a minute, guys. We're not done yet. And some of the guys look angry. Look at them. They look mad. We didn't get to slide. We're upset. They got grumpy. Yeah. We didn't get to ride the slide. So they got real upset. And the guy in the green hat had something to say. If they'll turn the page. They all, oh, look all that money. They all went in the machines. Half of them went in the yellow machine and were spit out in the snow, the big vacuum. The other half went in the red machine and were sliding on down. And they kept going and going and going. And the guy in the green hat had a pile of money as high as a tree. Oh, he was so excited. He was charging money like a theme park. And they were riding the slides and riding the big old big vacuum that spits them out in the snow. And 
It's like a big old theme park. Then they got sad. All our money's gone. That man took all our money. You know, theme parks will break you. If you go to Disney World, you walk away broke. Look at him. He's driving away with a car full of money. Yeah. He took all their money. Now they have nothing. All they had yeah. was the memories of a slide. One guy said, I'm not sure if that was worth that money. I, you know, we spent all that money on that slide. Now I'm broke and we have nothing. So they said, what do we do now? Let's just shake hands. He said, they shook hands and became friends. He said, I'll take care of you, my friend. I'll make sure you have something. I know that guy cheated you. So these sneeches, I guess they're called sneeches, became close, close friends, held hands, and decided they would take care of each other to the very end. The end! That's the end of that story called Sneeches. Does it make any sense? But all Daddy, I could do. Daddy, now for green pants, green pants. All I could do is make up words because all they had was pictures. So, on behalf of Mr. Milkman over here and his daddy, remember. I love you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, green pants, green pants.